This series of videos will help you guys and girls get ready for taking the California 8th grade science test. And this is the reference sheet that they give you from this for the state test. It's downloadable from the California Department of Education, along with all the other questions I'll be showing you today. Hey, take a look in the bottom left-hand corner there. It shows you that the formula where it says density equals mass divided by volume. So first, we're going to be looking at how to figure out density. The first thing you need to know is actually the definition of density, which is density is mass per unit of volume. The formula that will be given to you is on the state test, and it looks like this. Density equals mass divided by volume, just like shown on the prior slide. Now, sometimes they ask you some more complicated things, like they want to figure out what the mass is, or they want you to figure out what the volume actually is. So let's talk about how to use this, this density triangle. That's what I like to call it. You see, if you take your finger and you cover up the D, it's going to reveal mass and volume. And see that little division symbol right there? So if you cover up the D, you'll see mass divided by volume, and that's the formula that you use. Now, what if they wanted you to figure out what the mass was? Well, just cover up the, cover up the mass, and you'll see this density times volume. And what if it, they wanted you to figure out what the actual mass was, or volume, excuse me? You'd cover up the V, and that would, really, that would really reveal to you that it was going to be mass divided by density. And that's how you're going to end up using this density triangle. Now let's take a look at a question like you might see from the state test. The question reads as follows. First, the following table shows properties of four different sample materials. One of these materials is cork, a type of wood that floats on water or in water. Take a look at this data table here. And they, sh and they show mass and volume, so you know you're going to have to know the density to figure this one out. And they just call them physical properties. But the moment you see mass and volume, you know it has to do with density, and that's from our previous slide. Now let's take a look at the actual question. It says, given that the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter, which of the samples is most likely cork? Well, if you know cork actually floats on water because it's more buoyant, in other words, it's going to be less dense than water, then you know that it's going to have to be some value that's going to be less than 1. Because if it's less than 1, it's going to float. If it's greater than 1, it's going to sink. So, going a little bit further, let's take a look at some of these here. You have samples number 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if we go ahead and we figure this out, we'll just go ahead and do density equals mass divided by volume. And you go down through each sample, but sometimes you can eyeball it right away. I wonder which sample is the right answer. Well, let's look at sample number 3. If we see that its mass is actually 24 grams, we'll write 24 divided by 100. And you realize right away that if you divide this, that 100 goes into 24 a lot less than 1. In fact, you're going to find your answer is going to be 0.24. And that's pretty cool because when, once you see that, you know right away, well, that's less than 1, which means... Sample number three has to be our answer, and we know right away sample number three is going to be cork. 